Hi, I'm Matt Alsbach. I am the PGY1 Pharmacy Residency Program Director, and I'm also a Clinical Specialist in Internal Medicine at Reading Hospital. So this program started off in 2012. We actually started off with two residents, um, and now we have progressed over the years to five positions. It's actually three traditional residents where it is one year in length, and then we have what's termed a non-traditional program where two of those residents um, do actually a PGY-1 over two years. So half of their time is spent in the clinical side, and the other half is spent um, staffing. So Reading Hospital is a 714 bed level one trauma center in Berks County, Pennsylvania, which is uh, pretty remarkable for the area that we are in. We are a urban center um, within a suburban location. Philadelphia is only about an hour and a half away. New York City is about two and a half, three hours away. And Washington DC is about two and a half, three hours away. So you can get that hiking and outdoor activities that are uh, prevalent around the Reading area. And then you can also are very close to major cities that, you know, going out for dinner, um, shows, etc. Within the hospital pharmacy itself, we have a very good working relationship with both staff pharmacists as well as upper management and clinical specialists. Um, and we really work as a team, um, both within the pharmacy department as well as working with other hospital lines and hospital services. It's probably one of the best facilities I've ever worked with, with the collaboration between other practices, including physicians, nursing, social work. We have have um, a number of advances in technology at Reading Hospital. Um, from our electronic medical record, we have barcode scanning, we have our Reva robot who actually makes the medications for us. We have Dose Edge, um, which helps in taking pictures and capturing medication assembly from start to finish. Recently, we initiated a Medex scanning, which is actually kind of like FedEx for medications from start to where its destination ends so that we can track the medications along the route um, until they're delivered to the nursing and then obviously then administered to the patient. I, I think one of the unique perspectives of Reading Hospital is our flexibility. Um, most or many programs have a set amount of rotations. We do have a set rotation of core rotations, which are seven in nature, um, but we have a total of 10 blocks. So we have actually three blocks where a resident can choose what they'd like to do. If you have a certain desire or you want to say, hey, I'd like to do oncology and or you find out, hey, I'd really like to do an infectious disease PGY2. So we can really help and facilitate in changing or altering our rotations in order to best suit what a pharmacy resident wants to pursue in their future. What we emphasize in this residency is, residency is really what you get out of it um, and what you put into it. So a resident really needs to be driven in order to go the extra mile and the extra step to find out something that is either of interest to them or is not something that is taught to them per se in either a lecture or in pharmacy school. So we often, say, you know, they teach you the basics when you're in pharmacy school, but it's only when you get out into the real world that you realize, um, you know, that's just the tip of the iceberg. And sometimes you really have to dig down deep to find what the answer is or how it relates to a specific patient. Each resident is required to do a longitudinal major project where they work with a pharmacy preceptor of their choosing based on their interests or a specific project that one of the preceptors has put forward that would advance the pharmacy field or our pharmacy department. Part of the residency program is it's, it's never easy. You're balancing a host of different things every day from clinical responsibilities to staffing responsibilities, research and drug information questions or just the, hey, how do I get from one place to the next? Um, and I think that we every day try and help and facilitate growth and movement forward, not only with ourselves personally, but also with our residents. Reading offers a unique area within Berks County um, and hospital network. You know that we have a multitude of different service lines and the people that we work with and the physicians and nursing staff and, and you know, allied health services that we are 
affiliated with. You know, we all work really, really well together that I think any resident um, will have a great training and education while they're here at Reading.